In order to upload clips to video.ai, all you need to do is click on the upload file button on the screen right here. Step number one, you need to decide what video you want to upload. Whether that video is a YouTube video or whether that video exists on your computer as a separate recording. You can choose one of these two options to edit and upload your video to generate micro content on video.ai. I'm going to select a file from my computer to get started with this. As a second step, what you need to do is select the formats in which you need the video's output. If you're posting on TikTok, Instagram or Shorts, you need a portrait video. If you're posting on a Facebook, Instagram or a LinkedIn, you need a square video. If you want to post chapters of your video, long video, as shorter chapters, you need landscape videos. In this case, we are going to go with portrait and square. In the next step, you need to select templates. Templates are essentially chunks or preset ways in which your video will look so that you have better control over what the output might be. You need to select at least three templates of each type so that we are able to give you a good output. Of course, you can change these templates and how these videos look in the future. The same now needs to be done for square videos as well, since we've selected two types. Had we selected three types over here, we would have had to select three types of templates for each category. In the final step, I can add my Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok handles so that these can appear directly in my video should I choose to add social callouts. I'm going to add my handles over here quickly. And once this is done, I'm going to click on done. And that's it. Your video to video.ai has been uploaded. Processing videos can take anywhere between 20 to 30% of the length of the video that you uploaded because we are applying our magic onto the video as you are working on other stuff. You can choose to save these preferences for all future videos so that you don't have to answer these questions again and again. And then once you go back to the dashboard, you will see that your video will be completed and now you can check out this video and do more stuff onto it.